Residents of Hawthorne, today we honor the fallen of September 11th, 19 years ago on a bright September day when the skies were darkened by the worst attack on the American people in our history. The images of 9-11 are seared into our national memory. Hijacked planes cutting through a cloudless September sky. The Twin Towers collapsing to the ground. Black smoke billowing up from the Pentagon. The wreckage of Flight 93 in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, where the actions of heroic citizens prevented even more heartbreak and destruction at the cost of their own self-sacrifice. We all remember where we were when this happened. We quickly turned on the TV and were able to see the second plane hit the second tower. We then found out about the other two planes. A mixture of heavy emotions filled us as we saw things unfold. Our way of life was being threatened by those who envied the liberties and quality of life that we have as Americans. They felt that we would be weakened and quickly crumble as a nation, but they were wrong. Out of tragedy comes something good and beautiful. We felt powerless for a brief moment, but that quickly changed as we unified as a country with the strength and resolve to overcome this together. The compassion that was felt for the victims and the first responders that lost their lives was monumental. And we all extended our thoughts, prayers, and generous support towards the relatives of those who lost a loved one. Communities came together and became stronger with an energy we have never seen before. That is why it's so important to invoke that energy of unity and compassion for each other as we go through the discord that our country is currently experiencing and become stronger as a community, a state, and a nation. The most important lesson that we can learn from this experience is that on September 11, 2001, in our time of grief, the American people came together. We offered our neighbors a hand, and we offered the wounded our blood. We reaffirmed our ties to each other and our love of community and country. On that day, no matter where we came from, what God we prayed to, or what race or ethnicity we belonged to, we were united as one American family. Now we continue to be united in our resolve to fight and protect the freedoms that make us into the great nation that we are. God bless our city. God bless our state. God bless our country.